Hi, I'm Lee, and welcome to Two Minute Tuesday, where we give you tips and tricks regarding the software that helps you get to where you need to be. Today, we're going to jump into Avantus Designer. I'm going to show you how to create a basic buttress for your scaffold with bracing. Let's get started. Right, for my standard buttress that I'm just going to have on this, I'm going to choose the base size I need, drag on the bait. I'm going to put it in position for now. There we go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my pans off the top. I'm going to leave them on the bottom with my guardrails in case I need to put any ballast or anything on the bottom. I'm going to add a couple of lifts. So these are all blank. No board levels, no handrails. If I need to put a single handrail in, all I need to do is turn my guardrails on. Into my uh, more, into side and turn off my bottom handrail. I'll do that for a all. Right, what I need to do now I need to add some bracing to the side. I'm going to drag on another bay, put it in position. I'm going to turn off my pans. I'm going to add plan brace, as you can see there. And what I need to do, I need to go into bay details. And what I need to do, skip all sides, skip all verticals, click apply, close that down. So that just leaves me one plan brace, as you can see there. So I need to add another one. So every time I add a lift, it'll add a plan brace in. So Add another one so I've got three there. What I need to do is add one here. So same again, new bay, put it into position, turn off my planks, turn on my plan brace, but as you can see, it's gone the wrong way. I need to go into more and where it says plan brace direction, change it backwards. Click apply and there you go. Now I need to get rid of the sides. So into bay details, skip sides, skip verticals, click apply. Close that down, so I'm happy with that. So I need to add two more lifts to that. There you go. And now I want to add some bracing so it goes from the end into the main tower. So it goes from there all the way up there. Same again, bring on a new bay. This time I'm gonna put some bracing on. Into side settings, I need my L and R. Click OK. Now, as you can see, one side is not going the right way. So it's my L side is not going right. So I need them both to go from back to front. Into bay details, into sides, L side, backwards, click apply. There we go. So what I need to do now is turn my pans off. I need to get rid of my sides that I don't need as well as my verticals. So straight into verticals, turn them off. Into my sides, I don't need any ledgers. I don't need any guardrails. Don't need any tow boards. Click apply, click close. Now that should just give me two braces, which it has. Drag that forward into position. Now, as you can see, it's on my bottom deck. I need to raise it up so it's up here. So using my base nodes, move it up, 13, there we go. So I've gone from my back legs into my main tower. There we go, so I'm happy with that. If I wanted to make it higher, all I need to do is go into this section here, my bay level editor, into my level, and then I just add a couple more nodes and that'll raise the tube up there we go so i think i'm happy with that let's have a look and there you go there is a standard buttress as needed and i forgot to put my bracing in the main bay so click on there into my sides again so i want it on l r b click ok and while i've got it selected i need to change my direction of my brace again so in my bay details into my l side forwards to backwards, click apply, click close, and there you go. All my bracing is now going the same way, just how I need it. I hope this helps. If you do like this video, please stay tuned for more to come.